United Kingdom and Great Britain. The United Kingdom and Australia inked a new defense agreement in Canberra as they try to boost a fledgling nuclear-powered submarine program with the United States. UK Defence Minister Grant Shapp signed the agreement in Canberra with his counterpart Richard Miles, establishing a legal framework that makes it easier to host troops and share military intelligence. The agreement stopped short of a full mutual defence pact, which would bind one side to intervene if the other was attacked. But it does include a commitment to consult about emerging threats and establishes an status of forces agreement, which makes it easier to host soldiers from the other nation. It is extraordinary, actually, the United Kingdom and Australia didn't already have a defence cooperation treaty in place, Schapp said after the signing ceremony. Alongside the United States, Australia and the UK are members of the fledgling AUK-US Defence Alliance, a landmark pact aimed at curbing Chinese military expansion in the Asia-Pacific. Barely two years old, there are already signs the AUK-US program is under threat, and some fear Donald Trump could scrap it completely if he returns to power next year. A major pillar of the AUK-US pact is a promise to help Australia build and acquire a fleet of potent nuclear-powered submarines, one of its biggest ever military upgrades. This agreement would make it easier, for example, for Australian sailors to train on the UK's nuclear subs, or for British crews to be based in Australia. London and Canberra have pledged to consult each other if looming regional threats start veering towards conflict. Among a host of other initiatives included in the deal is closer collaboration on undersea warfare and greater UK contribution to Australian-hosted joint military exercises.